On this episode of Ultimate Outdoors, we head to a place called Tall Pines ATV Park. Uh, it's in uh, Andover, New York, uh, in Allegheny County, uh, about an hour south of Rochester, about a four hour trip for us from uh, Watertown, New York. Uh, very cool place. Uh, we headed down on Friday, Labor Day weekend. Uh, they have a thing down there called uh, Farm Fest on that weekend. They have some ATV bog races. Uh, some other events and stuff like that. Uh, it's a pretty good weekend to go down there and spend the weekend. Well, five hours later, we have uh, we have made it to Tall Pines ATV Park. Uh, it's quite a trip. <laughs> Got pulled over five miles from my house. Had a tail light out on the trailer. Uh, but other than that, it was a pretty good uh, pretty good trip down. This looks like a pretty cool place. God, we got a picnic table we put this. We got our little table. This is another cabin. We got about 30 of us down here. Uh, once we got there, we found the main uh, the main barn. Uh, that's where you go and sign in. Uh, it's a pretty neat place. Uh, they have a place where they cook food, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, they sell ice, t-shirts. Uh, Different things like that. Uh, once once we got in the barn, we uh, we got in line. We had to uh, sign some waivers, uh, which is understandable. Uh, once we signed the waivers, uh, then we uh, we had to uh, pay for the trail pass. Now trail pass is uh, it's twenty dollars for a day for riding, five dollars for a passenger. Uh, but if uh, two day pass is uh, $30 and $10 for a passenger. So you get a two-day pass. Uh, it's a little cheaper to ride for two days, but uh, we were there for actually th uh, three and a half, uh, two and a half days of riding. Uh, so they uh, they added out another $10 for that half a day, which was pretty cool. So uh, it's well worth it. We uh, we rented cabins down there at Tall Pines. Uh, they had six cabins. We, uh, we rented five of them for the weekend. Um, the cabins were $69 a night. Uh, plus tax, uh, so we stayed for three nights. Uh, very nice cabins, uh, a lot better than what I thought they were going to be. Uh, very comfortable, lots of room, and uh, quiet where we were. It's, it's pretty decent cabins. Um, for camping, camp is pretty simple. If you want to bring a tent, uh, camper, pop up, whatever it might be, uh, it's five dollars a night per person. You just back it in. Uh, we had. Uh, one group bring a camper down with us. They back the camper in by the cabins, five bucks a piece per night for them, and they camped right there. Uh, it's pretty cool. And the cabins, uh, they do sleep six people comfortably. Uh, <clears throat> we had we had lots of room in our cabin. We could have squeezed a couple more in, uh, but very nice. So once we got checked in that day, we uh, we went to our cabins, got all set up, and. Uh, we went for a ride that afternoon. Uh, we cruised a few small trails, uh, not too far away, getting uh, the hang of things, where things were, stuff like that. Uh, so, pretty nice night for a ride, but uh, we didn't go far. We just checked out some things and then headed back to camp. Uh, some of the rules that they have at Tall Pines is uh, uh, you stay on the trails at all times. Uh, do not go off the trails. Uh, basically what they do, it's, it's a 3,800 acre farm. Uh, they have crops growing, uh, they got some beef cattle, stuff like that, and uh, if, if you get caught going off the trails, pulling out into a cornfield or a field or, or doing anything you're not supposed to be, they, they will have you arrested. Uh, you, you get right on their website, check it out, That's, they'll tell you that. Uh, it's, it's a privilege to ride there, and people have to stay on the trails. You, know, you, you just got to stay on the trails. It's all marked and everything. Another rule they have is uh, helmets. Uh, you have to wear a helmet at all times. If your four-wheeler is moving, you have to have a helmet on. If, if you're just unloading your bike, uh, moving it five feet out of the way, whatever, you got to have a helmet on, which is understandable. That's uh, the rules, and they have to make them and stand by them. So Saturday morning, we, uh, we got up and uh, got our stuff together. People got breakfast and this and that. Uh, some of our group stayed down in a hotel, so we waited for them to arrive. Uh, Saturday morning, we got everybody together. 
and uh, we headed down to the main barn. And down at the main barn, there's a starting point. There's a sign there that says the trail starts. Uh, we took off, and uh, all the trails are one directional, so if you're on a trail and someone's coming back at you, they're probably going the wrong way or you are, one or the other. map. Uh, the map's got uh, all the trails on it, shows where the mud holes are. Um, all the mud holes had water in them. Um, to my knowledge, if, if it gets dry that summer or something, they will pump water into the mud holes to keep people so they have a place to play and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, we took off on the trails. We headed down through. Um, we got to the first mud hole and uh, there was a few people there. Nobody was in the mud hole, so I was a little hesitant and uh, jumping right in it, not knowing how deep it was. and uh, So we kind of pulled up there and stopped for a minute, and then a couple bikes went through. So then I went through it, and we played around for a little while and, and watched people play through it. Um, my buddy Mark, he uh, he decided he wanted to try it. He'd been having problems with his bike in the, with the water, so uh, he said he was going to do it, and he made it about three-quarters of the way, and he said it, so. Good time with that one. I told you I Now we rode for a while Saturday. Uh, they had a mud bog competition at like uh, noon or whatever time it was. I can't remember. Uh, but we uh, we went there. We wanted to check it out, watch them, watch them do it. Um, they started lighting up some two wheel bikes, two wheel drive bikes, uh, race bikes. Uh, they went through it. They had some four by fours, some side by sides. Uh, they also did a foot race. They asked if anybody wanted to uh, do a foot race. And, six or seven lined up they, they did the foot race and I tell you what it's funny these, these people just love the mud and having a good time and uh, it was pretty cool they even had one that went through on a it was a truck bed liner and they hooked the truck bed liner to the back of the four-wheeler and dragged him through the mud it was pretty common Then after the uh, after the mud bog racing was done, we went out and moseyed around a little bit, and we ended up back at the mud bog. And, and once they were done with the mud bog, we were able to uh, play around in it. And uh, I'll tell you what, we had a freaking ball. Um, just started piling through the mud and getting each other muddy and, and uh, getting stuck. Had a uh, uh, one buddy fall off the floor with her, laying his back there, and nothing. got hurt. Just just good fun. Uh, really packed the bikes with mud. Uh, the radiators were, were full of mud everywhere. We were covered, and, uh, and uh, so it was a good time. So everybody got in mud for much. Our feet will be so soft. We are here at the mud pit at Tall Pines. I'm telling you, it is fun. Well, it does, but I don't know how
This is a dirty, dirty box. <laughs> Except for Louie. What the? Look at that shit. What the hell? Well, when we got done with the mud bog, we ended up heading back to uh, uh, what they have is uh, some machines for cleaning your bikes. Uh, they take quarters, uh, that's a pressure washing machine, uh, pull your bike up on this little platform, put your quarters in, you can wash your bike off and, and this kind of stuff, uh, getting everything cleaned up, the radiators. Uh, uh. Well, this is the, uh, the ATV cleanup section here. We got showers on the back side of this and uh, bathroom. And uh, we're all waiting to get friggin' cleaned up a little bit. I mean, look at all the dirty girls. Woo! Yeah, could you go ahead and do that for me? Yeah. Look at this guy, he's all cleaned up. Well, just my radiator. <laughs> Fortunately, that day, the, uh, the showers were out of order. Could have used a shower, but uh, uh, we survived. We got cleaned off with the pressure washers, and uh, my wife actually uh, cleaned her off pretty good and, and cleaned her up, and uh, it looked like something off of a TV show uh, where they were spraying her and she was kind of dancing around there or whatever. So it was pretty cool. But uh, we got all the bikes cleaned up, and uh, we were pretty much beat that that night. So we headed back to the cabins there to something to hang out, have a little fire, and. Uh, I had to talk about some of the trails. Some of the trails, uh, one was called Beaver Slide. It was a pretty steep hill, uh, downward hill. Um, manageable, nothing nothing too steep. Nobody crashed. Uh, we had some little bikes go down it, uh, and they did okay. Um, from there, we went down one trail in particular that was really cool. I thought it was uh, uh, the bottom of a ravine or canyon. It was all rocky. It's like a creek that runs up through and it's all flat shale rock and uh, the trail's right in the bottom of it and we rode up through there and, and that was really cool. Um, lots of different trails. Really nice ride. On the, day, uh, on the day we were leaving, um, we got everything packed up and uh, we met down at the main barn to kind of check out and stuff, hand in our keys for the cabins. Uh, they had some uh, hooded sweatshirts, t-shirts, stuff like that. We purchased um, some hooded sweatshirts. Uh, they were cooking breakfast there that morning. Uh, it smelled really good. Okay, just friends of mine, they were down there a little bit early getting breakfast and stuff before we headed out. And, uh, we checked out. And then and headed home. So overall, Tall Pines is an excellent place. I recommend it to anybody. Uh, we'll be going back again next uh, Labor Day weekend, I believe, the way we're planning on it right now. Uh, it's a pretty cool weekend. It's a long weekend of the holiday. It gives us a chance to get down there and ride and not have to rush, do, uh, you know, hurry, do all that kind of stuff. And a couple days of riding, they have their mud bog racing and their farm fest deal with the band and all that stuff. So it's definitely a good weekend to go down. Uh, we'll definitely be back down there next uh, next Labor Day weekend. Yeah, you're gonna be 
need a winch.